Hey, what's up guys? Keaton here, and this right here is the iPhone 8. No joke. So I'm kicking off iPhone 8 mania right now. So make sure you guys get subscribed so you don't miss it. And turn my notifications on too. While you're at it, just do that on desktop and mobile. I got an iPhone 8 dummy unit right here. This is the shape of it, so let's check it out. So here she is in all her glory, the iPhone 8. So I gotta give you guys some backstory here. This right here is an iPhone 8 clone. One of the first that I've actually seen and this thing's crazy. This is a very close representation of what we're gonna see, if not exactly, to the iPhone 8. These things are made for case companies and accessory companies so they can get an early jump start on making it so when the phone comes out, they got it, they're good. I just happened to get my hands on one of them. And I gotta tell you guys, this thing feels way different than the iPhone 7, and I was completely wrong. So you're probably saying to yourself, dude, what's different on it? Here's the first thing. On the back here, you guys can see this vertical camera. I've been talking about it for days, and I'll talk about it in a second. But we're gonna see this glass back. So you're probably saying like, dude, my iPhone 7 here has metal. It's not gonna have metal on it. No, they're switching it back to glass, kind of like the iPhone 4 and 4S. So that's gonna be a thing. And then when you flip it to the front, you don't see a home button. like. Do you guys see a home button there? Your boy doesn't. So this is gonna be a bezel-less display. What does that mean? That means instead of my iPhone 7 Plus here having these thick black bars and the screen only going up to those black bars, it's gonna be all screen on the iPhone 8. And I know this because I made a video on the iPhone 8 screen protector. I actually got one. This is legit. So what's crazy is, where are the cameras gonna go? Like, why is there four holes at the top? The camera's actually gonna be built into the phone. So on my iPhone 7 Plus here, you can see the camera is, well, obviously built into the phone, but it's on the bezels. The camera's gonna be built into the screen. How trippy is that? And if you're looking right now and saying, something looks different with this screen protector, you're not wrong. There are four holes here, well actually like five high, I can count. But this is gonna mean we're gonna see two cameras on the front, which means your Snapchats, I'm just kidding if you're not following me, are gonna look way better. And actually, I've been posting tons of exclusives, just on like the iPhone 8 on all my social media, so if you guys wanna check them out, links down below. This phone is gonna be crazy. And here's where things get even crazier. When you're looking at this phone right now, what's the thing you don't see? A home button. They're getting rid of the home button. So on the iPhone 6S Plus, we had a headphone jack. On the iPhone 7, no headphone jack. On the iPhone 8, no screen. No, just kidding, no home button. So you're probably saying to yourself, Keaton, dude, like where is Touch ID? Like I have a fingerprint sensor on my iPhone 7. You probably have one on your phone. Let me know in the comments if you do. Where's it gonna be? and they're saying it's gonna be built into the screen. So when you pick it up, instead of having to fumble around and making sure your fingerprint is on the home button, it would just normally unlock it. So that's insane, just by touching the screen anywhere when you pick it up, your phone's unlocked. So I got my iPhone 7 here, and I wanna see how similar it is to this iPhone 8 clone, if it's the same thickness, if it's the same height. Here we go. All right, iPhone 7, iPhone 8. Nope. That is not, no, that is not the same height. Now I think you guys can see this a little bit better. Here's the iPhone 8, and here is my iPhone 7. It is definitely taller, and when I'm holding them in my hands here, this one feels a lot thicker. That means something's about to go down. I think we're also gonna see wireless charging built in, because it makes sense. Wireless charging is kind of difficult when you have a metal back. So by putting a glass back on here, it's gonna happen. So the iPhone 8 is definitely thicker than the iPhone 7 here. I can just feel it in my hands. But what's crazy is your boy actually has some iPhone 8 cases. I gotta thank my boy Benjamin Geskin for hooking me up with these five iPhone 8 cases. And then the company that actually sent me this dummy, they have their own iPhone 8 case. So if you guys wanna pick it up, links down below. It's kind of crazy, in 2017, you can buy an iPhone case for a phone that isn't even out yet. So let's go ahead and just try these out. We're gonna play around them. So this is the clear iPhone 8 case. Got my dummy here. That's what they're called. Like, you're smarty. You're not a dummy, man. You're smarty. We're gonna click it in. That fits perfectly. Like, no, that fits perfectly. And look at that sleep wake button. I was saying it before and I'm gonna say it again. I think they're actually gonna put the touch ID on the side here. Like, look how big and fat that sleep wake switches compared to my iPhone 7 here. Like, do you see how much bigger that actually is? 
That's insane. Like this power button is thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. So here's what I want to try. Since I know the iPhone 8 is thicker than the iPhone 7, and you guys can kind of see it from the overhead, I'm going to try to put the iPhone 7 in an iPhone 8 case and just see how that goes down. So we got this one here, this nice mermaid one. Sure, I'm calling it a mermaid. It's the mermaid iPhone case. You heard it here first. We're going to put the iPhone 7 in and see how it goes down. So, so no, no, that, no, it's not happening. You can see just... It's a hot dog in a hallway. It is not, it's not going down. It's not going down how you want it. So the iPhone 8 is thicker, like just the lip goes way over the phone glass. Like the top of the case just goes over the phone. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. Your iPhone 8 cases are not gonna work on your iPhone 7, obviously, because there's a bigger camera here. So I wanna check out this case. This is the one the company actually sent me with the dummy. This is nice. Like. Whoa, I could drop it and feel pretty good about it. That's nice. That's nice. You get the Apple logo cut out there. Your vertical camera. Yo, I kind of like how you can pick out your case before the phone even comes. Now, when you guys probably saw the iPhone 8 leaks, you saw the camera and you're like, whoa, what is going down? And that is probably the biggest change on the iPhone is this vertical camera. The iPhone 8 is getting two cameras. The iPhone 7 didn't get that treatment. It was only the iPhone Plus. I know, it's just like musical chairs here. I'm pulling stuff out left and right. So your iPhone 7 Plus right now has two cameras and it's horizontal, it's put at the top. Now with this vertical camera here, it's obviously going vertical, so what are the benefits? I'm gonna say it's vertical video and there's gonna be so many cool new changes with it. And this is one thing that I'm really hoping for. When you take a video of it, you can hold your phone up vertically and if you want to see like a horizontal video, you know, the landscape, you can just tap a button in software. How awesome would that be to never have to hold your phone like this? This is a lot more comfortable for me. I like it like that. I don't really know what to expect. So on the front, we're gonna see those two front facing cameras. That's why the screen protector here, if I can get it, has those. So they're gonna be built into the screen, which is gonna look crazy. Media is gonna look insane. And this is the one concern that I have with this vertical camera. So on the iPhone 7 Plus here, it's a 5.5 inch display. It's a big phone. I got big hands. So now that they're putting two cameras on a little phone, if you don't have big hands like your boy or Shaquille O'Neal, uh, uh, uh. Is this gonna be a problem? Like, this is actually something I'm concerned about. When you pick your phone up, how do you make sure your fingers, like, I have huge hands. I don't think I could rock an iPhone 8 without covering up the camera and getting smudges on them. Like, when I pick up the phone, like, just by default, my hands are so big. Like, look at, look at this. It, I can't hold it like this. Like, this isn't comfortable. I need to have my hand at the bottom. But then where does my finger go? Around here? Then it's gonna click this long, power button that is gonna be a new feature. It's kind of crazy that two vertical cameras could mean worse photos because of fingerprints. Earlier I mentioned that the iPhone 8 would have wireless charging and it's kind of crazy, but having this in my hand, I'm gonna tell you guys that yes, we are actually gonna see wireless charging. This phone just screams high. I have wireless charging built inside me and I don't even turn on. The glass back just feels insane and that's a big reason why I think we're actually gonna see wireless charging. So if you're thinking to yourself, dude, what is this wireless charging thing? It is the world's greatest thing ever and pretty much most Android phones have it. I have a Galaxy S8 Plus here. Wireless charging has been in pretty much every phone except the iPhone for as long as I can remember. We're like 10 iPhones in right now and maybe, just maybe we're gonna see it. We're definitely gonna see it on the iPhone 8. So picture this situation. You're going to Starbucks to get your favorite drink, that unicorn frappuccino that everyone knows and loves, and your phone dies, but you don't have a charging cord. I know at Starbucks that they have these wireless charging pads, and I mean, I don't have an iPhone that can wirelessly charge, or do I? So if I just take my iPhone and I throw it down there on the pad, by default, it's not gonna charge. You need some sort of adapter. Whereas with the Samsung Galaxy S8, I throw it down and she's gonna charge up. So by having this feature in the iPhone 8, not only would it be a game changer, but you're never gonna be at 1% ever again. Honestly, Apple, it's about time. Like drop a like on this video if you've wanted wireless charging. I just wanna know how many of you guys like actually want it. Maybe it's just me, but Yo, we needed this like way long ago. I just wanna jump back to the screen real quick. You guys have heard me talk about how they're getting rid of these white bars. It's gonna be this full screen. What did that actually look like? Since this iPhone 8 doesn't turn on, I happened to almost 
drop it. I happen to have another iPhone 8 screen protector right here. It's the exact same thing as the other one that's on the floor. I'm not even gonna try to get it. I'm just gonna end up breaking it since it is glass. So there's an image behind here to kind of give you that representation of what that full display will look like. So I'm gonna flip over the iPhone 8. That just sounds amazing. It's gonna be rocks. I'm so excited for the iPhone 8. So when you put this screen protector down, you can kind of get a good idea. There's no bezels, there's no bars. It's just all screen. So I watch a lot of video. I'm just gonna be getting a lot more action on my tiny phone. The last thing I wanna talk about, and this is something kinda of crazy. I'm noticing this on like my iPhone 8 clone here, but it's the charge port. It looks a little bigger than the one on my iPhone 7, the one that you guys probably have, the lightning port. So a few years ago with the iPhone 4S, Apple changed it from the 30 pin. If you guys remember this, let me know in the comments to lightning. They tried to thin it up, make it easy, but that means any docks, any cases, any charge cases, they didn't work anymore. So I think they're doing it again. With this iPhone 8, when I look at it compared to like my iPhone 7 here, it looks a little bigger and it might be hard to tell. So I got a USB-C cable here and I wanna kinda plug it in and show you guys. So I can plug the lightning in here, you're chilling. And when I take the USB-C one and I plug it in here, it doesn't fit, but it looks like it just fits right on top of the hole. Like, it wants to go in, but it can't go in. And I've been seeing a lot of articles online saying the iPhone 8, like the MacBook, like the MacBook Pro, like the iMacs, they all have USB-C in them, not lightning. And I think it's time. And Tim Cook's looking at his watch like, you know what? Yeah, screw it. Let's just, let's change it up again. Like, thanks Tim. Thanks man, I, I know you're a subscriber. Love you too. So let me know in the comments right now if you think A, Apple's gonna keep the lightning port, or B, they're gonna kill it and they're doing USB-C. Maybe in the iPhone 9, we're not gonna have any ports and it'd just be wireless charging. We might not even have that. It'd be the iPhone 8S. These names, man. Can't do it anymore. I wanna give a huge shout out to my TFM members, 2Savage and Lotus for having my notifications on. If you guys want one so you don't miss when the next iPhone 8 video comes out. I got some insane stuff going on. Make sure you turn them on for desktop and mobile. Subscribe if you're new so you don't miss these. And let's hope the iPhone 9 has a screen. I'm doing something sick, me and Chris D'Elia. D'Elia, <laughs> We're about to start, we're about to do something sick. <laughs>